The late Chief H.I. Diawolowo, amongst other things, was a renowned businesswoman, a politician, a courageous woman, a pillar of support to her husband and children, and a symbol of unity. So it was no surprise the caliber of people who came to pay their last respect during her funeral. Take a look. The end of another era in the Awolowo dynasty. The late Hana Ido Didiolu Awolowo, well known as HID, the wife of former nationalist and former premier of the old western region, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, a pillar of support to her late husband and a unifying factor not just for the ethnic Yorubas alone, but Nigeria at large. Her final journey home reached an end on Wednesday the 25th of November, a day she was supposed to turn 100 years of age, in the wake of several activities lined up to honour her. She passed on on September 19, 2015, and her final rite of passage began with this service of songs in Lagos. The Awolowo residence on Park Lane in Apapa, Lagos, was the venue for the service of songs, which turned into a beehive of activities, playing host to personalities including APC national leader Chief Bola Tinubu and the governor of the state, Akiumi Ambode, and his wife, Bolanle. They were received by Mama H.I.D. Awolowo's two surviving children, Tola Oyediro and Tokumbo Awolowo Dosumu. Oh. A brief prayer inside the house, and then the service of songs begins. That her motherhood transcends the spheres of her biological children was not in doubt, as evident in the turnout at the event. Mama HID was a good example to follow, and a leader who laid a solid foundation for generations to follow, as attested to by friends and members of her family. steadfast and she made a lot of sacrifice together with Papa to build Nigeria and I think that's a good lesson for all of us. She, she left legacies in, uh, legacy is multi-dimensional, multi-faceted. She left a legacy as a wife, as a mother, as a public figure, as a politician and as a human being. Late HID Awolowo. She was a successful businesswoman and an astute politician. Until her death, she was the chairman of Tribune newspapers. During her active age, she played a role in the politics of Western Nigeria, where she stood in for her husband in the alliance formed between two prominent political parties, NCNC and the AG, to form the United Progressive Grand Alliance while he was tried and in jail. This was a woman who married a man and married everything about him. She married his philosophy, 
is uh, is uh, is politics. She went through its struggles. I say all the times when when Papa was weak, Mama was strong for him, and when he was strong, she was even stronger for him. Nigeria should learn a sacrificial life. She was determined to do her best for this nation till the very end. From here, the celebration of a life well lived continued in their hometown in Ikene, Ogun State. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, and his wife, Dolapo, who is a granddaughter to the late HID, joined the other family for the week. Then came the final day for the funeral service. Ikene played host to prominent people from both within and outside the country. It is safe to say, late Hannah Ido Didiolu Awolo went home in a blaze of glory. Her remains arrived at our Saviour's church in a horse-drawn carriage, accompanied by children, grandchildren and other family members. The funeral service was well attended, standing out as the event, arguably one of the biggest gathering of high-profile dignitaries from across the country, who gathered to pay their respect to the matriarch of the Awolowo family. They include former President Chief Olushegun Obasanjo and wife Bola, former Head of State General Yakubu Gawan, former Interim Head of State Chief Ernest Shoneko, former Chief of General Staff Oladipo Dia, Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki, Governor of Ondo State Olushegun Mimiko, Governor of Ogun State Ibikule Amosu and wife Olufunsho, the Governor of Sokoto State Amino Tambowal. Others were Governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasiru Erufai, Governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, former Governors of Lagos, Oshun Ekiti, and Ogun, as well as River State. Also in attendance, the Senator Florence Itagiwa, captains of industries, among other very important guests. Time came for a special Thanksgiving. With 
with activities at the church concluded, the body was taken to the Awo Mausoleum, where she was privately interred beside her husband. Shortly after that, President Muhammadu Buhari, who just returned from an official trip abroad, visited the Awolowo family at the family house. A reception was held at the family house where music maestro Chief Ebenezer Obe was at the bandstand. Chief HID Awolowo will be remembered, amongst other things, for her unflinching support for her husband, a successful businesswoman who was the first Nigerian distributor for the Nigerian Tobacco Company in 1957 and the first importer of lace materials and other textiles into Nigeria. She is survived by children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. May her peaceful soul continue to rest in the Lord's bosom.